And yeah, here's where the uh, the gravity boots really come in handy. You can uh, do that diagonally as well. Uh, basically, you you hit down, up, and then uh, jump. If you wanted to do the uh, the diagonal ones, all you have to do is uh, down and then up forward or up uh, well up left or up right and then uh, do the the jump button. It's a little tricky to pull off the diagonal ones. And yeah, the the prison area that's exclusive to this game. Um, I mean, it kind of makes me wonder here, because, I mean, it's like, this is a prison here, and uh, I really don't think the the haunted prison is necessarily, uh, you know, the best choice for an exclusive area, but nonetheless, it's, it's something new. Um, I guess, to be fair, the, the prison in this area really isn't all that large, so I guess it's not a huge, you know, problem, but nonetheless, it it's just something that kind of, uh, you know... Kind of makes you think. Oop. Keep on hitting that trigger button, uh, mistaking it for the uh, one of the morphs. And here's All Rocks. And again, his transparencies are intact, so. Um, Yeah, it's it's definitely one of the more visually engaging battles. Okay, so here I'm just going to get kind of cheap, and I'm just going to resort to uh, Shield Rod. Don't really feel like dragging this out. He can be a, you know, a bit of a pain to hit with you know, the limited range that I have at the moment. Do that one more time. Can't hurt. actually one of the cooler uh, death animations in the game, regardless of which version it is. I, there's not a flash there like there's supposed to be, uh, or I think it's like a transparent, like, light shroud more or less, but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, still a really neat death animation. Switch back to my gloves. And my knife. And there are uh, there are stronger knives in the game. I just really choose not to use them. Uh, well, aside from the the red one, it's uh, the uh, astral dagger. But uh, the reason I don't use most of the other knives uh, is because you know compared to I think that's the. Uh, 
like force of bad. Or, no, that's. I can't remember if it's force of bad or uh, whatever that sonar is. I can't remember what it's called. But in either case, yeah, it's basically the sonar ability for the bat, if I'm not mistaken. Which will let me get through uh, the catacombs. So then we have another large area over to our right here, which is where we entered the area. Um, I'll need to fill that in real quick, um, obviously with the bat form, like so. I'm gonna have a save over here. I think there's a save point here. Yeah. Just because I'm low on MP. Okay, so. Here we go. And yeah, so the uh, the map for the most part is filled in here. It's just uh, I'll kind of walk across the bottom anyway, so no big deal. Yeah, this is another. I think that's where the uh, the sword familiar is in this version. guys. And yeah, here's another... Well, in my opinion, it's more of a, an overrated visual effect, but nonetheless, it's uh, kind of a nice little uh, thing that not everyone will notice. Water just turns to blood over there. Now there is a hidden area over here. Um, one interesting tip for uh, actually finding it, oops, wrong one, um, is actually in the location. Uh, the easiest way to figure out where to break the ceiling is just to go to your map uh, to just kind of reference the area right above that that blinking spot, or right below the blinking spot, rather, um, and you'll be able to see where I opened up the ceiling in the Colosseum. Now, this hidden area up here, it's exactly the opposite of that. So it's uh, vertically uh, the same two blocks, but the opening is on the left this time. So what I'm going to do to open this up is, um, well, I'll just do uh, Tetra Spirit. That should do the trick. Mistake. Uh, I'll just do another. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. These uh, these familiar cards are really throwing me off. I'm not sure which ones where, but nonetheless. And this is uh, the spot that was blocked off before. now open. So let's have a look at where we want to go next. And um, it looks like the best spot to go at this point is going to be down into the caverns. Uh, this really isn't my favorite area. Well, it's probably far from my favorite area in the game. Um, I'll probably cover part of it in this setting. I'm not sure if uh, I'll bother get going through the whole thing. 
just kind of a tedious area. Eh, why am I even doing that? There we go. Just going up here. 